Um, I thought I would do a little video on how to replace the, the heating core on a one house duplicator i3 3D printer. Um, a lot of the videos online, if you look on how to replace the core, you'll see that the actual core here, the heating element, goes back to a little um, box which sits on here and there's a nice little pin you can pop out and push back in um, and I think that must be on the later models uh, certainly on the one that I have um, or one of the original models the heating core is actually wired um, all the way back big long cable you have to put it all the way through the, both of the arms and through and feed it all the way back into this little uh, this little board which normally sits on the top of the inside of your unit if i just focus in a little bit you can hopefully see that this one here is where those two cables are going to connect into this board comes out fairly straightforward so you can lift it out and turn it on its end to get into uh, the little screws which hold it in place not really a good angle to see that by. And let me see if I can just twist it a little bit. You can see there, just you unscrew them, just a normal sort of um, cable clamp. Unscrew those screws, pop your cables in the top, tighten up the screws again, and then fasten your motherboard back down. Yeah, you do need to take it out to be able to actually get in and twist it on its edge so you can get in with the screwdriver. And then put that motherboard back onto the top of the unit where it sits there and this will go sliding into the bottom flip it over it slides into the bottom and you put your bottom base plate on and screw all those bits in place you don't really need to take the guts of it off the base plate you can try and you know, get the top off in one piece but um, I just found it easier just to take it out, just leave everything connected, um, but obviously it just gives you a little bit more wiggle room to work with. So, to put these wires in, to put the heating core wires in, you just need to push them all the way through the reticulating arms, um, and all the way through this one. You can see I'm part way through it now, so you can see these two wires here, they're the new wires, I have took the old ones out, stripped them out, and I'm just pushing these. From the heating core all the way back you can see the bunched up here was come out of one wire and go into another one um, these arms click apart very easily so you can see that uh, this one is trying to get a better angle from this side what you can see here actually this one i've taken apart you just give them a quick twist when they're together and the pop open basically and you can then just take the cable and feed it through the length of the cable or the length of the arm rather and pop open again feed it through another piece so it's fairly straightforward and just feeding this wire through and you just pull it through um, fairly straightforward the thing is you've got to then feed that back all the way through you've got this little set of wires here which will be covered by this plastic cable wrap Feeding into the main bulk of wires again, covered by this cable wrap normally, and that will take you all the way back into this little board where we're going to wire it up. Wire that back up, fix the board back to the top, flip it over onto the base, and put the whole thing back together again. Um, and then, of course, you'll have to reassemble the the print head uh, as well. Um, but for now, I'm going to carry on pulling these wires through and get it wired back into the board here, and then I'll show you what to do from then on. Okay. Right. So, as I see, they basically break apart. It's fairly straightforward. You just click it back together again with a little bit of convincing. There you go. Um, so all I'm doing now is threading these wires through. So I'll thread the first one through. Yeah. 
to the next one. And I'll just move this along a little bit. Push it through gently. A little persuasion, a little bit wiggle. And just keep squeezing it through. And as you can see, it just pops out the other end there. At which point you can just gently pull it through. Um, when it's get pulling, just keep an eye on this and make sure it doesn't get twisted or kinked or anything like that. Uh, pull through. There you are. And then you can just throw these back along. And again, with a little bit of persuasion, clicks into place. And there's your arm back in one piece. And once they're on, I'll just click this one. I'm going to play this as well. That's my good lady is holding the camera. There you go. There you go. Both arms back together. And we have the cables coming out. So I'm just going to remove these back. Unfortunately, I haven't got any cable ties. So I'm going to try and thread them through this cable tie. Um, if I can't, then I'll just have to remove that and put the plastic one on for now and then uh, put a cable tie on to secure it properly a bit later. Next thing I'm going to run these all the way back to the motherboard. Um, so we'll uh, stop there and I'll do that. Right, I'm now going to get the new cables threaded it all the way back through and I'm just now fixing them back onto this motherboard you can see I fixed one in and I'm just going to fix the second one here now I will hand over the controls so it's a little bit finickety um, but essentially unscrew the cable clamp push the cable down fuse threads there you can shorten them a little bit as well if you need to but should feel free to wait Pull, just make sure everything's tight, and there we are. And now I'm going to fix this motherboard gently with all the cables. Just touch the sides of your motherboard, don't touch the circuitry. And of course, make sure you've completely disconnected the power before you do any of this. Um, not accepting any responsibility for you committing Harry Carry with the electrics. Okay. Yeah, some of these really good for this type of thing. These are all insulated screws. Go in. Come on. Hopefully, hit the hole. There we go. I want to get one in. Put one in the end.
that one. As you see, that's the insulation, just a little bit of plastic. You can use it, a hex key for these, but if you've got a little screwdriver like this, with the attachments, you've got a bunch of other attachments with it. Really, really useful for for doing this. Much better than the hex or Allen key. I'm gonna get the last one in there. Probably can't see. That's the motherboard all secured back into the top. And I'll see, I'm going to flip this over and put the bottom back in and put the base plate back on. I'll get prepared for that and I'll come back shortly. Right, um, what I've done is just connect the, this base plate um, to the, I guess, the, the computer that sits on board. Oh, you want to call it the brains of the operation. So that basically, as you can see, goes into there. You just flip the sides a little bit, slide it in, and uh, that's it. And then I'll have the back plate to connect up. Um, I'll do that now. Basically, screws along the edge here. Just fit in all the way along. Um, so I'll do that now. Yeah, so as I was saying, it just slides along. It's got the you can see inside there. That's the, the bit that we saw before, all one piece, and you just slide it in back in to here. Just this little leading edge up a little bit, just so it fits snugly. And then we'll just go along putting all these screws in. And then that will just leave the back plate to position and fix 